Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. This will be our first weekend in the entire year when we have zero weather issues. Not too chilly in the morning, not too warm in the afternoon, and no chances of rain, and the humidity will be low. We kicked it off uh, this evening with a beautiful golden sunset along the Ohio River there in Owensboro. Mark Thiemann out there on the riverfront where there will be a lot of folks tomorrow for Friday after 5. And a little bit upriver, West Pate captured a similar view on the Ohio from Lewisport, Kentucky downtown on the river there also just a beautiful evening with those high thin clouds moving on in mid 80s for highest today and will be mid to maybe upper 80s tomorrow as our daytime temperatures slowly warm nighttime temperatures are going to cool down a bit though over the next couple of days live first warning doppler radar is all dry these are just false returns around the radar site next chance of rain won't be in here until later on tuesday tracking the cicadas as they emerge across the tri-state some new reports today out of darmstadt First one in the uh, Evansville area, also northern Warwick County, northern Perry County, but still the bulk of them uh, east of Highway 41. But I think we'll have a pretty good handle in the next one to two weeks in terms of where the most concentrated amounts of the cicada brood X will be. There's a live view from downtown Owensboro, the Glover Carey Blue Bridge doing its things right now along the riverfront and here's how the day played out in downtown Evans. Well, lots of sunshine this morning picked up a little more cloud cover this afternoon mid to high level clouds provided that beautiful sunset and still a few clouds out there right now but the temperature is very comfortable at 73 the dew point is in the 50s and you can keep the dew point in the 50s when it's really warm or hot you're doing really well because that's comfortable levels and that should be the case at least through the weekend and after a windy day the breeze is settling down it will pick up again though for one more day temperatures right now running upper 60s to low 70s and we should wind up somewhere in the low to mid 60s by daybreak tomorrow morning high pressures building in from the east and look at this plume of moisture from the Gulf all the way up the Mississippi Valley. And this little area here could become a tropical system in the next 24 to 36 hours. That would be before even hurricane season begins. If it does, it will move due north. It won't be a factor for us. High pressure will be basically protecting us from any significant cloud cover or certainly any rain over the weekend. But we'll keep an eye on that also. Could be interesting there on the western Gulf Coast. Future tracker keeping us partly cloudy tomorrow. It's going to be a windy, warm day, mid to upper 80s, forecasting 87 Evansville, Henderson, 86 in Owensboro. And then tomorrow night, mainly clear. These are just high, thin clouds moving on through. We'll start the weekend around 60 with a mix of sun and clouds Saturday. Not as windy, but a little warmer. We'll be in the upper 80s on Saturday afternoon. And then Sunday, we do it all over again. Plenty of sunshine, just a few clouds. It looks like Sunday, we will more than likely top out right around 90 for the first time this season, about a week ahead of schedule. But clearing out overnight, low to mid 60s, and tomorrow partly cloudy, windy, and warm, mid to upper 80s. Seven day forecast, we'll call it a mix of sun and clouds for Saturday, 88 for the high, a little bit less wind, and then partly cloudy Sunday, right around 90. We'll stay around 90 for Monday and Tuesday, and then we'll see a few showers and thunder showers coming in late Tuesday. Cold front comes through Wednesday with some scattered thunder showers, and that front may start all in the region and keep the rain chances going Thursday of next week as we cool back to normal. And the long-range forecast for late May into early June keeps temperatures warmer than normal for the tri-state and still a little bit wetter than normal. And that would be the time frame that encompasses our Memorial Day weekend. So some question marks on that, but that's still a good week and a half away. But no doubt about this coming weekend, it's going to be just about perfect. You got the warm temperatures without the humidity and no chance of rain. We're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you, Wayne.